Hello and welcome, this is Kendra, and because it is now February, I'm announcing the new color palette challenge for this month. This color challenge is something that I started in January for members of my Facebook group. It's where you can create any project using the colors in the color palette, and then post that project, a photo of it, in the color challenge album over on my Facebook group, Kendra's Card Challenges, and this is for a chance to win a prize. It can be a card, a scrapbook page, journal, really anything you'd like as long as you use the colors in the palette. Now for January, the color palette was this beautiful combination of pinks. And I'll show you a few of these awesome projects that were posted in the Color Challenge photo album for January into the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group by some of the design team members. Now these color palettes were created by Sarah Renee Clark, who has given permission for us to use these for our monthly color challenges. She has the color catalog available for purchase on her website, and this is the printed version. It's called the Color Cube, which is a colorful box of reference cards that helps you in choosing colors for your projects. I will link her website in the description box below. For February, we're using color palette number 35, which has these fun bright colors. This is the reference card from the Color Cube, and on the back it shows the names of the colors, magenta, marigold, yellow, light green, and sky blue. And as you can see, there's different shades of these colors on the right hand side. And as I said before, you can create any project using these colors, and it does not have to be a project using one of the sketches from my quarterly sketch challenge. If you use Copic markers, uh, Spectrum, Noir, or Ohuhu markers, here are the colors that are similar to the colors in the palette. So you may wanna take a screenshot or make a note so that you can refer back to it if you like to color your images. So I hope you'll join in on the color challenge this month. Now I'll introduce the February of 2024 bonus printable available for download now by paid patrons of the Kendra's Card Challenges Patreon membership program. This month's bonus is a set of 13 digital pattern papers and sentiment strips all designed to match the colors in the color palette. Here I'm showing the papers that are included, but it's actually, it prints on a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch paper. I just have these cut down to six by six. So as you can see, there's some raindrops, stripes, um, flowers, different size dots, a fun plaid. Then there's this uh, yellow with magenta dots, this blue herringbone pattern, then this green one here with yellow diamonds. And then there's this magenta with white swirls. And then this marigold with the different colors of confetti. And then there's this ombre pattern, but my magenta toner was actually low, so it didn't print as dark as it should. And then there's this um, blue marble pattern. And then I also decided to add a sky and grass pattern paper that you can use to create scenes. So I've cut these down to measure four by five and a quarter, and some are even a little bit smaller, three and three quarter by five inches. And then there are these sentiments in the different colors, and I've already cut these into strips, but there's a variety of sentiments in here for many different occasions, like happy birthday, just because, congratulations, miss you, hi there, thanks, and many more. And what I love about when you cut these down is that you still have all these extra pieces that you can use for additional cards or actually for accents on your cards. Now I've cut these papers down to six by six because I'm gonna use them to create 15 cards using my latest quarterly card challenge, number 13. I found some coordinating colored card stock to use for my layers and some of my card bases. And I have to say that these colors are almost exact to what's on the color palette. I don't know where I got the darker green. I think it came from Michael's, but the rest of these came from Pink and Main. So this um, green or the lime yellowish color is called Moss. The, um, the magenta is called Dress Shop. The marigold color is actually called School Bus. And then the light blue color is called Riverwalk. But out of the 12 patterns, I selected these six papers so that I can use these to make my cards. And I'm gonna cut these according to the cutting templates that are shown on the first three pages of the printable here. So these cutting templates have circled numbers on each of the pieces indicating which card sketch that that piece goes with. It also has a pair of scissors which shows what cuts need to be made first. And there's arrows which show which way the pieces will face on the card as shown on the sketches. 
Now, all of the papers have arrows going in different directions except for paper E. So if you have any directional patterns like hearts or rainbows that need to face a certain way, you'll want to assign that to paper E. Now, these are the card sketches. And each of them have measurements for all of the pieces. So if you don't want to make all 15 cards, you can just use them individually to create a few or just one. The challenge runs through March 31st of 2024. So you still have time to create your cards and enter them for a chance to win prizes. Now, if you're not familiar with my challenge, you'll want to check out the Challenge 13 introduction video. It explains all about entering, shows how to cut the papers, and it gives details about all of the prizes that you can win. So off camera, I went ahead and cut all of my papers and my layers and decided how I wanted to decorate the cards. I have everything placed in these numbered storage sleeves. And I have to apologize for the glare from my light. One of my studio lights busted, so I'm having to use a ceiling light and it's right over the left hand side of my board. And speaking of boards, this is my new magnetic glass mat called Northern Illumination by Glassboard Studio. And I absolutely love it. I won it on one of their Instagram giveaways. Isn't it gorgeous? But I just got to figure out how to not have a glare and still be able to see what I'm doing when I'm crafting and use this glass board. Anyway, but I'm going to share with you the card making process for all 15 cards. And I've sped this video up eight times so that we can get through all 15 cards and we won't be here too terribly long. But if you need to slow it down some, remember you can always change the playback speed on the YouTube settings. I will have all of the products that I used in the description box below. For the focal points on these cards, I'm using some vinyl stickers from my stash and some Easter themed gnome images that I cut from pattern paper that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And for some, I just used the sentiment strips. But for the embellishments, I wanted to show you these embellishment mixes that I received from Trinity Stamps that work perfectly with the colors in the palette. Like I said, I'll have all of these products listed and linked in the description box below. But I'll be using these embellishments on many of the cards. And to try to cover up that glare on the left hand side of my mat, I placed that printable showing the page with the sketch that I'm working on so you can see what I'm following. And I apologize that it's sort of in the way, but I think it's better than the glare. Now for the cards where I use the Easter images, I wanted to mention that there are some with additional colors like purple or light pink that aren't in the color palette but the other colors matched and I just thought they were too cute not to use and I'm getting a jump on my Easter cards but I'll have to pick one of these cards that has only the colors of the color palette to use for my project to post into the photo album in the Facebook group but you'll have to let me know which one of these cards is your favorite in the comment section below now, if you, have, if you love the papers that I'm using in this video today, you can have instant access to download this bonus printable when you join as a paid patron starting at just $5 a month. As an official patron, not only can you get access to this bonus printable, but you get access to all bonus printables, plus access to a year's worth of past challenges and a printer-friendly version of the challenge. And at the $10 all access tier, you get access to all past bonuses, and challenges plus a card making kit sampler mailed out each month and then at the $25 VIP tier you get everything already mentioned plus a crafty zoom session each quarter and you also get a full card making kit instead of a sampler and these include papers cardstock images or ephemera where you can make a set of cards using the challenge now patrons who create cards with these kits can post photos to the exclusive all access and VIP patron Facebook group to have an extra chance to win a prize each month. So there's lots of opportunities to win prizes, but for more information about my Patreon program, visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's card challenges. Now I'm going to put on some music while I make the rest of these cards and I'll come back here in a bit.
so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. I really hope you like my cards and I hope you'll join in on the challenge, whether it be the monthly color challenge or the quarterly sketch challenge. And I hope you'll join the video team here on YouTube on Saturday, February 3rd to see some projects created with the sketches featuring products from some of our super sponsors. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.